What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Power Construct Weakness Policy Zygarde team alongside with Triage Comfy and Flame Body Volcarona. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, the support that has been going out across the channel has been crazy. Everybody who has subscribed to the channel, just tunes in the views or just people who like the videos. It really does go a long way. Thank you so much for the support. But getting started with this team, we got Zygarde up in that top left corner. Dragon and ground typing. I absolutely love its typing considering it's so different from all the other Pokemon. There's just like not a lot of dragon and ground type. So he's cool. Fun to show off. Power construct ability. So when our HP drops below half, we get a big like stat boost if we change forms. We also have that weakness policy, which we could proc with the comfy. Get rolling out and dominate with that. Thousand arrows, iron tail, coil, and protect as its moveset. Comfy's the next Pokemon. We got Draining Kiss, Floral Healing, Protect, and Trick Room. I love this move set on this Pokemon, considering we can proc policy, heal up ally Pokemon, Trick Room, or Counter Trick Room, and just protect and pester around the whole battle. Middle left, we have Incineroar, another great support Pokemon with Intimidate, the Pasho Berry, and then Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, and Snarl. A fairly normal move set that is so effective in today's meta. Right next to him is Volcarona, who is a cool Pokemon that is so off-meta, that's why I'm using this team. It's an off-meta team right here, so it's going to be fun to show off and bring this Pokemon into some battles. Bug and Fire type with that Flame Body and Cobra Berry as his item. Heat Wave, Struggle Bug, Protect, and Rage Power to protect ally Pokemon. Bottom left corner, we have Thunderous Defiant over here. It's going to be able to counter some Intimidate Pokemon. With that Assault Vest, Electric and Flying, Foul Play, Wild Charge, Super Power, and Fly. This thing is all business, just trying to get in, do some damage, and pick up some KOs with that guy. Final Pokemon is going to be Tapu Koko, and he has that Focus Ash and that Electric Surge ability. He's here to set up screens and pass it around. We have Light Screen, Reflect, Fairy Wing, Fairy Wind, Black, can't speak right now, and Thunderbolt as his final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get a winning record with this Weakness Policy Zygarde team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Stockataka Trick Room team. He also has Urshifu, Regilecki, Spectre, Roboom, and Clefairy on the team. I think he's going to lead the Clefairy and the Stockataka. In my opinion, I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's happened. Um, let me see. Let me see something real quick. How can I actually counter this? Because I don't really think I can. I think I have to let it go and slide through. I could go in with Incineroar. Incineroar is not bad here. So I can fake out turn one. Or I could just go Confi and Zygarde and just try to get after it. That could be the play. And try to waste out this Trick Room. I'm kind of with this. Actually, I can counter Trick Room with Confi. So, I think I'm fine with going Zygarde and Confi in turn one. And then bring a Thunderous in the back end. And then in the final spot, I could go Tapu Koko to set up screens. Hmm. How can I play this one? Tapu Koko. Or I could go Incineroar or Volcarona. I think it's Incineroar or Volcarona. But I don't know who. I mean, I think Intimidate would come out a little bit better here, considering he has Rillaboom and Urshifu, and we can fake out in this uh, with this Pokemon as well. So we're going to get rolling with that. But guys, let me know for question of the day, would you guys like to see a 100% playthrough on the new Pokemon Snap game, considering it comes out Friday, April 30th, and I'm going to be definitely picking that game up and doing a playthrough on it. But I'm curious as if you guys would like to see a 100% playthrough or just a normal playthrough, because I'm actually really excited for that game. Cannot wait to record for you guys and upload some videos. Hopefully you guys are picking it up or just tuning in to watch it, those videos, because it's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section down below whether you guys would like to see a 100% playthrough on it. Because I'd be down for it. I would be down for it, but more so up to you guys. But he's going to lead the Rillaboom and the Spectre. Okay. Oh, or I see you. Okay, and I believe we go before a fake out. Right? I believe we go before a fake out. But I am actually going to Dynamax. And actually, oh, I could coil. I could coil. That is an option, but I think I'm just still going to Dynamax. I think I'm going to drop a Max Quake, get that special defense boost, and get after a Spectre and see how, that, how we can roll out with that. So we are Dynamax. This thing could be Sash. Spectre could 100% be Sash, and I wouldn't be surprised. So, Zygarde getting that big old Dynamax. So, one thing I don't like about Zygarde is his power construct cannot, uh, cannot, like, be used when he's in Dynamax form. Like, I'll drop below half HP. I'm like, yo, power construct up, but because he's Dynamax, he's not allowed to. Big out comes before? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. This thing's nasty spot. Okay. We're gonna have to get rid of that thing. We're gonna have to get rid of that thing right now. We're gonna get a special defense boost. He's gonna get a special attack uh, boost. The good thing we are actually going for max quake, but I thought uh, floral healing comes out before fake out. Oh, but nice big damage on that thing. You'd love to see it. Um, 
Okay, so I'm actually digging that. I'm digging that a lot. I think I have to go into a, uh, instead of proccing our policy this turn, I think we take out the Spectre. I think that's going to be the play, is to take out the Spectre and roll from there with a Floral Healing. Get rid of that thing. Not Floral Healing. Oh my lord. What am I doing? Draining Kiss. <laughs> Would that have healed him up? Half of its max HP. It restores uh, more HP when terrain is grass. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, would that have actually hit it? But dude, imagine if I floral healed that thing. That would have been hilarious. And then we're going to slide over with a max heal spike just to get a defense boost. And do some damage over onto this real boom. Oh, are you Dynamax and Spec? Oh, this could be this could be crazy. You Dynamax and Spec, Trier? Let's see. Oh my lord, yo. Draining Kiss. Doom Dirty. We need Draining Kiss to come up clutch here. Do we think Draining Kiss is going to KO? I think it will. This thing's a lightweight. Let's see what happens here. He guard. Alright, yo. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with you, Garden. Draining Kiss going to fly through. And I think he's just trying to waste out turns here. You turn's going to pop. I think he's coming in with another fake out mod. I think he's coming out with another fake out mod. We are going to get a, 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 well, just a regular defense boost. Hopefully he pops out with a physical attacker. Let's see who he pivots into. Because this is like... A strategic turn. Oh, he's gonna go call fairy. Okay. Hmm. Steel spike gonna pop through here. And that's gonna be some nice damage on that thing. Lovely damage over there. We get a defense boost. Alright. So this thing is obviously just gonna okay, I'm he's just gonna follow me. That's a pretty straightforward move. That's pretty straightforward. He's just gonna follow me and try to do big damage on me. And in this case. What should I do? What should I do in this case? Hmm. I think we just double up in the Clefairy slot. I mean, this will come out before. So I am actually going to, uh... I know he has Rillaboom. Who else do I want to go into here? And who do I have in the back end? I do have, uh... Cinnamon who can come in here later. I do have Defiant. This is just tough because I, th I think we have to go into the Quake. I think I'm going to proc my policy here while I'm at all this HP. Try to get rid of this Clefairy. Drain Kiss can come through here. And we're going to proc our own policy. As our last turn in Dynamax. So there goes my policy. Um, I don't think he's taking out my Zygarde in one turn. We are plus one on special defense. I know he's plus two on special attack. But well, obviously the follow me is going to come out here and this max quick should be able to take out the Clefairy and we should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. What happens? He goes after my Zygarde. Yep, Zygarde is able to eat. And we're going to be able to take out this Clefairy, no problem. And then he's going to bring back out Rolling. We already know that's coming. And I can be able to Floral Heal next turn, which is huge. Which is huge. So there's this. Bang. Get this thing out of here. Another special defense boost. I'm liking what we're saying. Like, all I need to do is kind of waste out these, these Dynamax turns and we should be thriving here. Oh, and the terrain is grass. The terrain is grass, which works in our favor. We get some more HP back for the full oral healing. Gotta love it. There's some HP. Let's heal up and then... Oh, my power construct is coming out. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought it doesn't happen when we Dynamax. I guess because our Dynamax turns are over. I, I don't know. I guess they change it. I really don't know. Because sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Power Construct changes. We're up to 389. And I'm going to Floral Heal. Yo, this Spectre better watch it. Better watch out, baby. We're getting after it. Robo going to come back out here. He's probably going to fake me out here. Chances are, right? Coming back out for the fake out. So I'm just going to heal up. Try to eat up a shot. I could protect it, honestly. Now, I'd rather floral heal here. Because we are boosted on that special defense. We should be totally fine here. I mean, I could try to coil. That would be lovely. But, again, he's going to fake us out. Let's see what happens here. He comes to fake out. Are you going after Confi? You are going after Confi. Buttery Biscuit. We're going to try to coil. Can you go after Confi again? You can go after Zygarde. Zygarde, can you eat? No, you're the best, Zygarde. You are the best. The best. There goes our defense drop again. But we're going to coil up. Which is lovely. Coil coming out here. I'm floral healing. I think grass terrain leaves though, right? It could. 
Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully the grass terrain does not leave here. I would love to get one last turn in it. If I can get some more HP from my Zygarde. There you go. His, his Dynamax goes down. Our stats are boosted. And grass terrain does stay here. So Floral Healing is going to come out here. I'm going to heal you up. And I'm just going to drop a thousand arrows just so I can get a double hit. Take out that Spectre and do a little bit of damage on the real boom. Because Floral Healing should come out before a Grassy Glide. Right? I believe so. And if it doesn't, then, mm, uh, then I don't like that one bit. We need the heals. We need the heals here. Yep, Floral Healing comes out first. Heal up my Zygarde, baby. Heal him up. Get him going. How much HP are we getting back? <laughs> oh my lord. Thank you, Grassy Terrain. Thank you for the terrain, buddy. We're able to eat that up all day. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball, which you're going to be able to eat up. And we, we should be fine here. We should be thriving. Spectre, I should go down here. I could Floral Healing up again. Get some more HP. And I think that's what I'm going to do, because I'm just going to try to uh, sweep out here with Zygarde. Thing's a monster. Gets a crit. He's in his power construct form. Has a heaping amount of HP. We're keeping him alive. And his stats are through the roof right now. But you gotta love it. Except for his defense. Because, again, he dropped it twice. I think I just I can just Thousand Arrows again. I think I'm totally fine with that. So we already took out Clefairy. Will Boom, I think we'll go down to another Thousand Arrows. Might be cutting it close there. But yeah, let's just Floral Healing again. You give me no reason not to. You have no terrain, so you can't get first turn priority. Which you still might be faster than my Zygarde at this point, but yeah, we 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 on it. We are on it. He drops an Urshfu. I'm just gonna floral healing up again. You give me no reason not to. Let's mess stats real quick. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Look at these stats, man. Stats are insane. I wish we had our defense boost, but we don't. I'm gonna floral healing. I still have Incineroar in the back. I think I'm just gonna. Nah, I can't protect and full heal. I'm gonna drop another thousand arrows. Try to do as much damage as we can, and then eventually we'll come out with an intimidate. And we have uh, thunders in the back. We are thriving here. Heal my main man pots and pans up over here. Get him the full HP, I think, right? Oh my lord, yo. Broken over here. We're broken. It's broken. Go for Comfy. I think he might try to take on my Comfy. Let's see. No, going after Zygarde, yo. That's a tasty snack you got there. Real tasty snack. Dude, I think Zygarde is really underrated. Like, once you get him set up, he's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. Woodhammer's going to come through. I'm going to say, hey, yo, that's another tasty snack you got there. Rillaboom's going to take some recoil. We're going to come out here with Thousand Arrows. Take out Rillaboom. And then we can just come in with a Draining Kiss and finish this battle up. It's going to be GG. The sweep. The long, drawn-out battle sweep. This battle was about, like, close to 15 minutes. And Zygarde and Comfy are alive this whole time. Insane. Insane, yo. I'm just going to protect here. I don't want anybody to die. I don't want him going for a sucker punch. There you go. He just canceled the battle, and we pick up that clean sweep for battle number one. Awesome way to start off today's video. Battle number one was a clean sweep. Dominated that battle, picked up that W, but we're hopping into our second battle, looking to go back-to-back -back and seal that winning record for today's video. This guy has a Kiram White team, alongside with Grimstar, Licky Licky, which I'm hyped for because that's an awesome off-meta Pokemon, Entei, Swampert, and Venusaur. But he does have Drought. He does not have drought. Can Entei roll well, Sunny Day? Is there something like that? I feel like he has some weird combo going on here. But um, who do I want to lead? I kind of want to set up some screens here. I would love to set up some screens. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Incineroar and Top of Coco. I'm going to bring Thunderous in the back. And I think we just... uh I roll Zygarde or Volcarona? Why don't we try having some fun with this one? Yo, Volcarona here. Let's try having some fun with this one. Because I honestly could just go into that Zygarde and Comfy combo, and I think we can dominate this battle easily. But let's try to have some fun with it. Roll out with uh, with the other Pokemon, considering we just played like a 15-minute battle with Zygarde. And you guys already know how we can play and how we can show off. So I'd rather try to keep, pick up a victory with these guys over here. Potentially Dynamax Thunderous, set up some screens, have some attack and special attack drops with Incineroar in uh, turn number one. Because I love this moveset on Incineroar. We can go out with Intimidate. And then we can, if he has special attackers out on the field, we can just snarl and pester around from there. So let's see who he leads. He goes in with, hmm, I don't even know these names right here. He goes in with Kirim White and Grimmy Poo. And Grim Grim. And going to come out here. And is Kirim physical or special? I think he's special. I'm not even going to lie. I think he is special, so I am going to set up a Lechkin here. 
And I can totally see this thing Dynamax him. So I think I'm just going to, instead of Fake Out, I think I'm just going to Snarl up here. I think it's going to be play. Attack is dropping. Very Wind is dope move. It is dope move. But uh, Lady Screen is going to come out here. Bang. And I think we are just going to Snarl or should I Parting Shot? I think I'm going to Parting Shot. I think that's going to be play. Set up screens, Parting Shot into my... uh. Parting shot into my Thunderous, or I could come out with Volk. No, but I think we save our Volcarona and get our Thunderous. Dynamax him after this, because we do have the Surge rolling. But I'm like this. I think we're going to go screen for screens, or Grimstar might fake me out. I think those are the only two options here. But I wish we did have Light Clay on this top of Kogo. That's the one item I would switch. We do not have Light Clay rocking out on it, and he is going to Dynamax the Kieran White. So we are going to be able to get off a nice little parting shot off for this thing. I think it's special attack, and I really do. But I feel like it could be, it could go both ways. But I'm almost 100% in special attack because we just used one recently, and I believe it was rocking Draco Meteor, right? It was rocking Blizzard, right? Blizzard Draco Meteor is definitely special attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeans is Jeans is on his is on his thinking. He's thinking well here. He's gonna set up a light screen. That's totally fine. I'm gonna be able to set up a light screen here as well. So it is gonna be nice to have our assault vest. Thunders come out here. Parting shot come out here first. No, Wormwind is going to drop first. Over on the who? Over on my Incineroar, who's going to be able to eat that up all day. He's going to get an attack drop onto my, what's it called? Onto my Coco, which is fine. We're special attacking. And we're going to swap out. Parting shot. Hey. Get out my boy, Thunderous. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to Dynamax, my boy. And I hope he goes for another Wormwind. I really do. So we can get that attack drop and Defiant can actually boost up. But I can drop a Max Knuckle, get an attack boost that way. That is a possibility. Get out, my boy. We rolling here. Um, I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt. We're rolling to you. I'm going to Dynamax, and I think I'm just going to Max Knuckle. Is, is this thing... He might be policy. He's definitely policy. I don't want... I really don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to go for the Para over on the slot. Now we're going to double up. We're gonna knuckle. We're gonna go for that. Uh, should I cook up for this airstream? Go for the speed boost. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go for this attack boost right here. We're gonna double up in the Grim Snarl. That's gonna be play. That is gonna be the play. I I think that Kiram's gonna be weakness policy, so I really don't want to mess with it. Cause if I proc it, I feel like that's the only way we can lose this battle. But I feel like we're kind of we're, we're decently set up here with that attack drops. We have our assault vest. I don't want to proc this thing's policy, at least while it's in Dynamax form. I just don't think that's a play for us. Then we boost our attack, we go after someone else, and we roll out from there. Thunderbolt's going to be able to come out here first. And I think uh, my, uh, my what's called should be able to outspeed this uh, Kiram. Yeah. My Thunder does outspeed, which is nice. We're going to be able to throw a nice big punch here, do some damage, and roll from there. Attack boost is the main purpose of this. And then I can go into an airstream, start getting speed boost for our team. Which we might not even need. Let's see what he does. He's gonna drop a hailstorm. That's fine. A run of thunderous. And thunderous is gonna be able to. Eat. That's easy eats for him. That's easy eats for my boy. Okay, so I can guard here if I really want to. Oh, spirit break shot through. Oh, yo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. He does get a crit. He does get a crit, but our defiant is gonna pop off here. That did a lot of damage, which I really don't like. That did a lot, a lot of damage. We get buffed by the hail. Um, the fight is boosted, so I think I need to do as much damage as I possibly can over onto that. Uh, over onto that Kyurem right now, even though we are gonna practice policy. Is Knuckle the call? But I go for a stab move. That move might be the play. Run to an airstream. Yeah, again, I don't want to practice policy, so we're gonna go for a stab move. Hopefully, it's not rocket sucker punch. Just have a reflex. Smart cookie. Smart cookie play. And his Dynamax turns are over. Can we take this thing out here? That would be really nice if we can. We do. Okay, so Grimstar is gone. We are going to be able to get off a max air stream. We're going to do some damage onto this thing, and he's going to be able to take me out from here. All right, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I didn't proc his policy. We're not, we're not give, giving that thing the benefit. Going to drop another Hailstorm. That's really fine. But, dude, that Spirit Break did a lot of damage for no reason. 
for no reason it did a lot of damage. You can't go for the flare. And that's a big mistake. That's a big mistake. He goes for the flare. Yo, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kiram. Yo, this guy, big mistake. Tries to make the good play. I think that would have been a beneficial play for him. But he's sending it out for the Venus one. Which is totally fine. We are speed boosted. And I think we should be able to outspeed him. Right? It's going to be cutting it close here. It's going to be cutting it close. Do I fairy win? I could guard. Hmm. What do I think the play is here? Because I could swap Coco out for, uh, for Incineroar. Guard. And then fake out next turn. I don't have guard. That's the thing. Okay, I do not have guard. I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna I am gonna go for the airstream over onto him. Maybe we can outspeed it. We are plus one. He's gonna withdraw Kiramir. That's totally fine. And he's gonna throw out his last Pokemon, which is going to be Entei. Okay. I'm gonna be able to get off a Thunderbolt on that. Because I know Top of Coco should be faster than everybody here, right? Yep, Top of Coco comes out here. Probably should have went after the Venusaur with that, trying to get a para. Oh, it's good. Oh, we good. Thunderous outspeeds. There goes that Venusaur. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, yo. We're looking real fine right now. We're looking real fine. Are we going to get another sweep? Are we going to do it again? Because I'm outspeeding here. My Thunder is going to be able to take out the what's called. No problem. My Thunder is going to take out this Kira. No problem. This thing could be extreme speed, though. Could be extreme speed. Turbo Blaze. I feel like he has something paired up with these two. I feel like he has something up his sleeve. I don't know. Again, I'm not. I'm not trying to proc policy. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for that speed drop. You know what? You know what? I'm super powering. Think I care? We're gonna get Ampharos. Take no recoil from it. I'm super powering. I'm going for the KO here. Get rid of this Pokemon. Would love it, but I think he has extreme speed. Yeah. Yep. Can we eat? No. Not shot. No sweep for us. Uh, Kiram's gonna drop a move here. I think I set up a reflect, or I might have to set up another light stream because I think turns might be over. Nice damage over onto the Entei. Ice Burn is coming out here. The aim cloaked and freezing air. So it's a two turn move here. He's Ice Burning. Light screen's gone. Electricity gone. Uh, let's get out Instant Aura. Can I fake him out now? Can I fake him out now? That could be a play. <laughs> that could be such a play. Am I, like, is that allowed? Can, I think I'm just going to fake him out. I think that's going to be play. Fake him out and Thunderbolt pick up the KO. Sounds good to me, right? Sounds real good to me. He's going for a two-turn move. I'm just going to give it the Clapskies. Mwah. Right? Unless that thing doesn't flinch, we're kind of just science experimenting here. And think goes down to the C-Bolt. We're, we're fine here. We're chilling. We're chilling. Is this thing flinches? Yeah. Get him out of here. Wasting turns all day. Wasting turns all day. Gotta love it. Uh, we'll fairy win here. Proc policy, no problem. Actually, Incineroar might not be as fast. We're not proccing that policy. I know he hasn't. I'd rather, I'd rather not. I'm gonna go into this Fire Blitz. I think he's just gonna cancel battle, right? Cancel it. There it is. 2-0. and oh. Winning record sealed. We can hop to our third and final battle. Look for that perfect record. I need to be cooled down right now. Your boy's on a heater. We're 2-0 right here, dominating those first two battles. Hopping into our third and final one, going up against a Necrozma team right here. And I'm guessing that thing has the policy. He also has a Thunderous, which probably is Soul Fest, or it could be Life Orb. That, that Pokemon can go either way. He has the Grim Snarl, the Instant War, the Real Boom, and the Urshifu. So his team's looking pretty powerful. Hopefully we can pick up that perfect record for you guys. We're 2-0, like I said. First battle was amazing. Second battle was amazing as well. Got to show off both sides of this team with the Zygarde and Confi combo. And then in the second battle, we went with the Defiant Thunderous uh, action with Dynamax there. And ended up picking up that victory. But I don't know who I should go into. This team's looking tough. This team's looking tough. I think we might go Confi and Zygarde here. Try to proc policy and roll from there. But I think we can. I mean, he does have Fake Out. In that case, I could protect. But I think we're going to go into that. I think I have to bring in Incineroar for that attack drop. I know he has Prism Armor on that Necrozma, so we cannot get that attack drop. But he has a lot of physical attackers. That's the thing. I just got to watch out for that Defiant. And I think I'm going to bring in my Defiant Pokemon as well. I think that's a clean call. I think that's a clean call here. 
Let's run it. Run it, baby. Run it right now. But I believe Thousand Arrows or Ground Moves are uh, super effective up against Necrozma. But again, I think it's policy. This thing can be a bulky little Pokemon. But I think we have to wait for our right chance to actually take a shot at the thing and get going. That's our plan. That is our plan. But he's got to be bringing a... Uh, got to be bringing a few, a few goodies. A few goodies here. By goodies, I mean like Incineroar and Thunderous. Okay, so he drops these two. The Crow's Might and Grip Snarl combo. Um, for the lead. Can he Sucker Punch into that in Proc Policy? I think, that's a, I think that's an option. And I know that thing is physical attacking. I know that thing's physical attacking. But I'm going to Dynamax and I am going to pick up a defense boost. And I am going to Drain and Kiss here. And it's going to be play for me. Play for me is to get a defense boost and roll from here. And do we outspeed? Is he Dynamaxing as well or no? He might not be outspeed. Or we might just be outspeeding here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Even if we don't go 3-0, yo. I'm loving today's video. I'm loving the uh, the team that we're using. And I, I'm hyped for uh, Pokemon Snap Pass. I know we've been playing a lot of uh, online double battles because we haven't had a nice playthrough on the channel for a little bit. But Pokemon Snap is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that one. Hopefully, you guys do tune in, check it out, and show some support on that playthrough. I feel like it's going to be a blast. I feel like it's going to be me explaining the game, showing off it to its fullest potential. Also, uh, giving it my first impressions and just talking to you guys because it's a chill game. It's a relaxed, chill game where you just take a uh, picture of the Pokemon and collect them and all that. So, I think we're going to have some awesome conversations and uh, awesome topics to talk about on the channel. Ben Kiss going to come out here. Bang. Policy. Prof. Getting rolling. Getting after it, baby. There we go, plus two. And is he going to proc policy as well? Just going to set up a lovely little reflect. A lovely reflect. So I don't think we're going to be able to take out here because this is not stabbed. We do not have a dragon move, which kind of threw me off, but I'm fine with this. It takes out, bro. It takes out. God, I love it. Defense boost coming in here. We're going to start out of here. We don't even let him get the chance to set up a light screen or anything. But we have physical attackers in the back, so reflect was really all we needed. But... He doesn't need to know that. He doesn't need to know that. But Beery Berry popping out here. Gotta love it. We're gonna be able to eat that. Thank you, Mr. Berry. Half that damage. Yes. Good work, Comfy. Good work, Comfy. Now, this is the point where I wish we had ally switch. Defense is gonna boost. I, I, hmm. It's tough. I, I, I don't want to hit that thing. I'm not gonna hit up on that Necrozma. No, no, no. He's defense boost. He's gonna proc policy easily. Tenor's gonna come out here. I mean, he's gonna drop us a little bit. I am gonna go for that quake onto him. Don't some damage. He's probably just gonna fake me out. Do what he does. Now we're only plus one. So we're just gonna quake and start piecing off on this thing. I think I just protect. I think that's gonna be fine. Just protect my my poor little necklace, the lei. That's what it's called, the Hawaiian lei. We're gonna protect him. He does not go for the fake out. I think parting shot is gonna be coming through. Hopefully this Quake comes out and picks up the KO. Hmm. Does not. Does not. I think he's going to parting shot. I think he's going to shot the parting. But this could be good. He does eat his citrus berry. His lovely little citrus berry. Or is that his other berry? He w oh, it was the figgy berry. The delectable figgy berry. The deliciousness of the figgy berry. Coffee's able to eat through the deck. I love it. Oh, uh, is this thing going to go for a parting shot now? Which I actually wouldn't mind if it does. Burns me. He burns me! How dare he? How dare he burn me? That little biscuit. Uh, I guess I'll just quake up onto it again. I guess we'll drain and kiss. We're not going to be able to pick up the KO here. Burn does me dirty, man. Burn be doing me dirty. <laughs> But you know how dope it would be? You know how, like, uh, like when you go to Hawaii and all that, or so they say, well, I believe I have people who went to Hawaii, and they say when you land, they give you a little, the necklace lay. How cool would it be if they give you a comfy one? It's just like, comfy, bang, on your neck. I'll be like, oh, oh! <laughs> That'd be awesome. They come up there, just instead of a normal lay, it's comfy, baby. Right around your neck. I'd be so hyped. That'd be the coolest thing ever. But Max Quake comes out here. Definitely not picking up that KO with the burn. You know, burns do you dirty. But this is what I never understood. I get burn half your physical attack damage. Why does poison do the same thing for special attack? It just makes no sense to me. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. 
The Quake comes out. There's special defense boost, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with, considering we have the big dog physical attackers in the back. Um, I wonder what Incineroar is going to do here. Um, hmm. Darker Slayer is going to pop through here. That's eaten. I think the only way to kind of back for our Zygarde to get back in this one is going to be him to power the shot. You go Intimidate. Could go in with him. It's not bad with the foul play. Hmm. Who else does he have in the back? Because we took out his Grimmsnarl. He has have another physical attacker. So I think Thunderous is going to be the play right now. I really do think Thunder's going to be the play. we got to get rid of this Incineroar we're right here right now. We're going to Thousand Arrows it. And will Thousand Arrows KO? That is the real question. The real question is Thousand Arrows going to KO. Because I don't want him putting on a burn on my Thunders. Because if he puts on a burn on my Thunders, it is game. Thousand Arrows should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. And honestly, I could... Good foul play. I think I am going to foul play. I think it's time to practice policy and do damage on this thing. I think it is time. I think it's time. He is defense boosted, man. That's going to be really, really tough for us. It's going to be really, really tough for us. Let's see how this one plays out. Because I think it's in going for the burn. Foul play's coming out here. Come on. Get a crit. Do him dirty. Doing a lot of damage. He's got to be policy, right? We get a crit. We do get a crit. There's the policy. It's either going to make us or break us here. We did get a crit, which is lovely. Thousand Arrows should come out here. Take out that Incineroar at least, please. And get a crit onto that other one. We don't pick up KO. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's, man. We needed that KO on that Incineroar. Actually, he might not. I don't know. It's going to be just kind of close. Will of us come through here. Now that Thunderous is gone. I just feel like we really needed him. How? How are we start coming out? And this is why I said this is what we need to enter his guard. Get this boost here. If I can thousand arrows take out that instant or no problem. My instant or can come out here and I'm gonna fake out that Necrozma. Lynch him up. And maybe he has Rillaboom in the back, but I'm guessing it's Urshfu. If I had to guess, it's gotta be Urshfu, right? If I had to guess. Intimidate drop, pop him. That foul play was big. That foul play was big. That was probably the most damage we, we can get off here. Thousand arrows gonna come out here. And do I fake out or do I just flare boots? I say we just fake out. Hm, who do I think is faster? I think I'm just gonna flare boots. I think I'm just gonna drop this flare boots. He's gonna protect. That's fine. That's fine. Thousand arrows should be able to take out instant or no problem. Block on the Necrozma the side. Here goes Thousand Arrows. Getting through. Cool, cool. I'm hoping it is Rillaboom, but I can totally see it being Urshfu. I really do think it's going to be Urshfu because Urshfu is probably one of the best back end Pokemon. Like every time I'm playing with Urshfu, I usually bring him. He's just so strong all around. Power Construct did come out here, which I'm loving. Which I'm loving. Close battle here. Close battle, ladies and gentlemen. I love how all of the battles were long, drawn out ones. Really good ones. And it is the Earth food, like I said. Earth, she's popping. Thousand arrows got dropped. I think I have to flare butts into the Charisma. More so than anything. Close combat coming through. Eat this up. That's game. Now nah, it's 100% game. 100% game. I mean, just drop his defense. Un unless Power Construct can take out. This is the Charisma. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be able to. Let's see what we do here. Yeah, no, not shot. Burn doing a sturdy. Dang, man. You know, one turn with that Incineroar. I feel like if we have one turn with that Incineroar, we could have won this one. Burn coming out, doing a sturdy. He's going to start teeing off on us. Rough news for us. And I could coil. <laughs> I could coil. Maybe try to go for a crit. A crit. That's the only chance here. We need him to start missing. His defense is down. He's going to go for another close combat. That's probably going to pick up KO, right? No, we do eat. Hold up. His defense is down. We need a crit. We need some crits here. Get it rolling. Do him dirty. Show me some crits. I think one more turn can win this one. Maybe he can miss a close combat. 
but a sun steel strike is coming out here. This is his signature move. It's looking real dope. I think this is gonna end the battle. Eat it, eat it. Nope, there it is. GG's. GG's 2 and 1 for today's video. All three battles were awesome. Got to show off this team fully and get that winning record for you guys. This team right here dominated in today's video. First battle, we got that comfy Zygarde combo rolling. Dominated, got that clean sweep and ran that battle. Second battle, we didn't even bring the Zygarde or comfy. Just went with the bottom four, Thunderous and Cinnamor, Volcarona and Tapu Koko and dominated from there. And then that third and final battle, we ended up losing in a close battle. But all around, we had that winning record and went 2-1. and one. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody